everybody, welcome back to another week of Outside with Alice. We are going to focus again on adaptations. And again, adaptations are anything an animal that we're focusing on has or does to help it survive. And this week we're focusing on movement or locomotion. So that adaptation of moving around. Moving around is important because it gets you to the places that you need to go to find food, maybe your shelter, maybe your space. It could even help you get away from something. So moving is important and you see different kinds of movement in, all over the animal kingdom. And our focus today is we're gonna look for parts that the animals have and how they actually use them. So moving about, let's see if we can brainstorm a little bit of a list. If you get a picture of, say, a bird in your head. What do you think a bird's going to use to move with? If you want to show it to your neighbor, we are going to look for flying in birds. And they're going to have wings to do that. So we've got our flyers. Now, how about an animal that might live in water? An animal that lives in water is going to have some fins and they're going to swim. And I'm gonna put the mammal thing here because we could actually see some dolphins out here. You never know. Fins are for fish, flippers are for mammals. Um, how about, ooh, we saw one of these earlier in some one of our other episodes, we saw a snake. That snake was doing something on its belly, right? It was a crawler. They use their belly or the muscles in their tummy to do that. Um, ooh, how about what you and I can do? So, and oh, I'm gonna put this here walk or run. How about that? We're gonna have legs for walking or running. So, that's something that we've got with different types of movement and the parts that are used by those organisms to do that movement. So as we move around, we're going to be challenged by looking for some of those movers and then potentially trying to move like them. We'll see if we can get some exercise and pretending to move like other animals today. So let's go. All right, everybody, we've got our first organism here, our first crawler. I don't know if you guys can see, it's our hermit crab in here. He's gonna come out and say hello. Hermit crabs actually take over the shells of other animals and use them to protect their bodies. So we're gonna put him down a little bit, see if he'll come out and crawl for us, show us a crawl, and then we're gonna try and move like a hermit crab. See. Crabs have 10 legs, like other crustaceans do. Here he comes. They have those antenna to feel around, eyes on an eye stalk, and you can do it, dude. They use all of those legs to help move about. Perfect, thank you, nice job. Notice how he's using one side at a time. So we'll put one side out and then the other side will come out and catch up. I think he got scared by my shadow. All right, we had our hermit crab as our example, as our crawler. So we're gonna do a little bit of a crab walk, everybody. I'm gonna do my crab walk this way, where, remember how he moved one side at a time and then the other side caught up. So we're gonna try and move like that. So we're gonna move one side at a time as we go, crawling like a crab. All right, now your turn, you try it. Got some flyers here, flapping those wings. Great movement. So guess what? We're gonna flop like our bird. We can do small wings, we can do medium wings, we can do big wings. We're gonna flap our wings like a bird does to fly. You try it. Ponds like this are great places to find frogs and frogs use their legs sometimes to walk but mainly for hopping. So the movement we're gonna try is hopping like a frog. So you get down as low as you can and hop all the way up and see how far. 
Some frogs are such good jumpers and hoppers that they can jump over six feet in length. That's about, well, taller than me, just by hopping. So see how far you can hop and see if you can hop as far as a frog. Last movement we're gonna try is actually not a movement at all. It's standing still, but on one leg. See, a lot of the birds that we see around Camp Aranza Zoo use one leg to stand on and they tuck the other one high up in their bodies to help with making sure they don't lose a lot of heat. See, water likes to pull heat away from your body and since they don't have feathers on their legs, they can lose that heat very quickly. So one way they have of kind of trapping that heat in is to tuck that leg up as high as they can. So what you need to try is to balance on one leg and tuck that other leg up as high as you can and see how long you can stand. Some birds can do it for hours. Me, not so much. How long can you stand on one leg? <laughs>